You might have to call him the Parliament of Poets. Apollo calls all the poets of the nations, ancient and modern, east and west, to assemble on the moon to consult on the meaning of modernity. On earth and on the moon, the po poets teach a new global, universal vision of life. In a three-minute excerpt from a 12-minute canto, the persona begins to recount how he traveled with there with his guide, the poet Robert Hayden. While I was trying to absorb it all, a figure emerged far down the hill where I could see two trees close together, dressed in a jacket and vest, a decorous bow tie near the pond, incongruous, out of his habit holding a tall black spear with a broad wide blade tapering to a point. Walking towards me, I noticed he adjusted his bow tie with one hand, peering through bottle thick glasses. Egads, I exclaimed, Bob, is that you? Remembering the day by chance. Walking across the campus diag, I had seen that figure in front of Angel Hall. Recognizing me too, he smiled back. Two poets, one now grown older, both lessened by time. We laughed, look at one another, shaking hands, embraced. Stepping back, I said, Ah, that spear is just so not you. And he, grabbing and fanning his lapel as was his want, I'll have you recall I was the young poet who aspired to fulfill Stephen Benet's prophecy of an American black poet with a spear chanting a song for his people. And I still honor that, though complex for some. Laughing together, I shot back, they still don't get you, but you're human. <laughs> Forget that crowdy scowl! And Aiden, you, my friend, have done what you told me, taking my breath away, gasping as I recall. Oh yes, I remember, I've been so many, for so many years. Even as your words, my God, you're going to have such a difficult time, have proven all too true with every passing year. What a young fool I was to think all I had to do was serve Robert Frost 20 years. <laughs> Laughing on the patio, he said, many poets make that mistake. Enough of that too, waving his hand, sweeping it all away, a gesture that only he could make. I will name their names and they shall come, come for us, carry us heavenward to the moon. I have come to lay my black spear down by Roland's horn. Do you think they'll be able to get that? Howlingly funny would be roared. The old understanding passing between us, my friend and mentor, I still his apprentice. I hazarded that. Clichés are even thicker now than you were catching myself. He just smiled and said, shaking his spear in the air, boy, step aside and let a real poet show you how to get to the moon. What a sight we were there.